Hi, and welcome to 2017 Paper 2 of the Junior Share Higher Level. This is question 5 we're on, and it's a probability question. So, full disclosure, I'm not the biggest fan of the world of probability. It's taken me a long time in my maths understanding to make head or tail of probability. Uh, sometimes it's counterintuitive. It's not something I recall doing in my secondary school education. Um, in the old syllabus, you could choose to ignore the probability question and focus on like different questions that were maybe easier and more um, achievable than marks. That's obviously not a good thing um, and something that Project Maths is trying to fix, or I suppose, as it's now called, it's just not Project Maths anymore, it's just Maths. So probability is you know, almost guaranteed to come up and it's one of these things that practice makes perfect. But junior or higher level or, you know, above, probability questions are going to be generally tricky. Now, this one is not too bad um, if you understand what's going on, okay? So, anyway, I'd say pause this, keep it a go yourself, um, and the answers are on the next page, okay? So, if you want to have these notes with the answers built in, please send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com, and I'll get them back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, now, this part is a 15C, but part A and B are the parts, you know, they're, they're the, the marks joined together. So if you got one part correct, you're looking most likely getting the high partial 10. Okay, so let's trigger one of them right. A box contains red pens and blue pens. The probability that a pen picked at random from the box is red is 2 and 7. Okay, now probability can never go between greater than 1, so let's keep that in mind. It's always go between 0, which is not going to happen, and 1 is most definitely 100% going to happen. So probability is somewhere between. Halfway, you get your, you know, it's a 50 50 chance. It says you write down three possible values for the number of red pens in the box. Now, it's a basic concept here that runs through maths and, and things that are geometrical is that you, you, know, you can't have half of something. You can't have half a pen. Okay. It's either one pen, two pen, three pens, four pens. So, in every bo if in a box there's uh, two pens out of seven, okay. If, there was a, if you double that, it'd be 4 to 7, triple that, it'd be 6 out of, sorry, 4 out of 14, um, or 6 out of 21, okay? Um, that would still give the same probability, no matter what size box it is. You could have, let's see, 63, so 7 times 9 is 63. You'd have 18 red pens in a box of 63 pens, if that probability was holding, okay? So I've written that down there. If there are 7 pens, 2 of them must be red. If there are 14 pens... Four of them must be red. If there are 21 pens, six must be red. Assuming that probability is correct. Okay. But we have to accept that it is because that's what we're being told. Now, obviously, it can't be negative. Okay. Um, because that's not what the question states. Now, part B here says, find the probability that a pen picked at random from the box will be blue. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. You could simply go, well, there's, if there's two are red, five must be blue. There are a five and seven probability. Or you could take your red prob the probability of picking a red pen from the total probability of one, and you get your five over seven that way. Okay. Now, it's fine to leave it in fraction form. They don't say they want it in decimal. I've converted to decimal in two different places, but it's not necessarily you know, needed. Okay. Now, part C here is a five A, so it's hit or miss. Okay. Uh, if you're if you're not perfectly correct, you're wrong. Okay. It's a bit harsh, but whatever. So make sure you write down enough to get across the idea, but in one sense, don't overstate your point, okay? Otherwise, you might make yourself wrong by just waffling a little bit. So it says, explain why there cannot be exactly 20 pens in total in the box. Okay, now if there's 20 pens in the box, that would mean that there's little less than six pens in there, based on the probability. Again, you can't have half a pen. It's either five pens or six pens or seven pens or whatever. So the total number of pens must be a multiple of seven. Okay, so you see all these here, seven, 14, 21. That's why I use the example of 63, which is a multiple of 7, uh, just earlier. So I said there in mathematical, 2 7 times 20 gives you 5.7. That's not possible to have 0. 0.7 of a pen. And uh, then the word not possible. Hopefully we'll get that across. Uh, I took that from the market scheme. So it was written in the market scheme to be accepted. Um, you might maybe want to be a bit more clear um, and stating that you can't have 0. 0.7 of a pen. Yeah, it just makes sense. That's part C. Now, part D here, okay, this is fairly tricky, okay, it took me a while to get my head around this. Uh, some green pens are put into the box, so that 25% of the pens in the box are now green. So, there's a 1 in 4 chance of picking a green pen out of it, is what they're saying. 
Um, one pen is then picked at random from the box. Find the probability that this pen is blue. Now, it was 5 over 7, but now there's more than 7 pens in the box. Okay, so that probability is gone. We need to find out the new probability. It says then give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form and show all your workings. Okay, so I'm going to show you the answer here because it's done out digitally. So, if you look at a ratio here, remember a ratio is basically a fraction. Okay, we're not really, we're not mentioning the denominator. So, the, what's the ratio of red to blue to green? Is 2 to 5 is to, we don't know. We're trying to find that, we don't know. Okay. So, the probability of getting a green, okay, is um, your x, okay, so the number of greens, divided by all the number, the total number of, of possibilities, which is the number of greens plus the 2 and the 5, which is 7, the 2 and the 5 from the question. Now, that statement, you're trying to make this statement then, this is the tricky bit, that this probability, x divided by x plus 7, which we don't, we don't know what that x is because we don't know x, that is equal to a quarter, which we were told, equal to 25%. Now, that's an equation of one unknown. Now, we have the same unknown here, and it's awkward, but if we want to get the x plus 7 on the top line, we can cross multiply. It's dividing on the left. When it moves across, equal to the opposite. So it's multiplied. The 4 here on the bottom, it multiplies, it goes across the x, uh, becomes the opposite. It was dividing on the right, becomes multiplied on the left. So basically, I'm cross multiplying. Is one way that might be more commonly expressed. So the 4 becomes multiplied there. The entire thing here, the x plus 7, multiplies up here. Now signs don't change, okay? So you end up with 4 times x equals x plus 7. Now that's because x plus 7 by 1 is x plus 7. Kind of taking a bit of a shortcut there. Bring the x across, take another shortcut. That was added on the right, becomes subtracted on the right, on the left. So you end up with 4 x take away x is 3x. The 7 doesn't change because it was on its own. Now bring the 3 back across, it was multiplied on the left, becomes divided on the right, I end up with x is equal to 7 over 3. Now, be careful, that's not the probability, and one of the reasons I know it's not is 3 and 7 is the same as 2 and, two, two and 1 thirds. Probability can't be greater than 1. Okay, so I assume that was a, a, could be a very common thing to stop there. But if we go back to what the probability of blue was, okay, now let me just get rid of stuff here. Um, this, so I'll clarify, okay. By, by wiping it out. That's our statement, okay? This is the bit we now need. So the probability of blue, okay, is equal to our, let's see now. Okay, I have to pause the video there for a second because I had a bit of a, 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 a senior moment. I won't say what I was going to think of saying. But I was looking, I was going to say I was putting that back into the probability for green, okay? But the question is for blue, not green. Uh, we're using the green here to, def to find what x is, okay? Now, same statement here. The probability of blue is given by the number of blue divided by the total number, okay? So it's 5 divided by 7 plus 7 over 3, okay? Now, that looks awkward, but it's just because it's not in the correct multiple, okay? So I'm multiplying top and bottom by 3 to make that into a, into a simple fraction, okay? So 3, 5 is 15. Now, 7 and uh, 7 and 3 is, is, is basically 9 and third. Multiply 9 by uh, 3, I end up here with the 28. Okay. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, I have it in a fraction in its simplest form. I can't simplify that. There's no number to divide into 2 and 28. Okay. Right, so that's very hard. I Again, I, I go back over to make sure you understand it. Any question you come across in probability is going, to be it's going to be challenging. If you have a good understanding, you have a good chance of getting good marks. There's a 10C grade here. Um, if you're bad at probability and you're looking at getting the low partial, sometimes, you know, uh, in the really bad questions for a person, that's a win. If you're good at probability, well, happy days. You know, this, for some people, it's as easy as pie. Okay. I'm not that I'm jealous. Anyway, that's part D, the end of question five. So, see you in question six. Thank you.